Okay, so I have a few clips here of me making this uh, pencil bag and I'm not going to give you all the instructions because it's not my pattern to give. Um, I'm going to show you a few clips of you, of me, you know, putting it together, but that's all I'm going to show you. Um, this is called the Zola Pen Case. It's by Carolyn Fairbanks Critchfield. Um, the instructions and pattern are free on her website. I'll link it in the description below. I had a lot of fun um, putting this together from stuff I already had and I will probably make one or two more. It's not a beginner pattern. <laughs> it's definitely like intermediate. Um, yeah, I, I would not call this a beginner pattern. Um, but that being said, it's all straight stitches. It wasn't super hard. You just kind of have to have some basic sewing knowledge, I think, to create the case. Um, I'm still finding threads to create the case. I'm still finding threads. That, but uh, that be all of that being said, I love the way it turned out. I used some more of that cactus fabric. The nice thing about this is it's a takeoff on a Japanese pen case. And when you open it up, as you see, it opens up flat and it creates like a little tray. And then when you are done, there you go. So it's a cute little pen case. Um, I probably won't make a lot of them. I thought it was a little bit fiddly, um, but um, I did find it a challenging pattern. Probably it's fiddly. I think it's fiddly because I, this is the first one I made. As you make them and you get used to the pattern, it'll probably be easier. Um, it doesn't take a lot of time. It took me about an hour. So yeah, I do find it really interesting. I've got another um, bag pattern I want to try in a couple of different sizes, so I'm going to work on that. My our art room, by the way, looks like a sewing bomb went off because there's stuff all over the floor. <laughs> um, I had to empty a bunch of stuff out of the closet in order to get some sewing projects done. So I may make one or two more of these. I think it's a cute case. I like the way it turned out. Like I said, I thought the pattern was a little bit fiddly, but I think maybe that's just because it was my first time making it. I don't think it's definitely not an intermediate case, if only because it has a zipper on it. Um, it calls for putting the snap on the bottom. I don't know that I would do that again though. I mean, it's okay. It's cute the way it ha snaps at the bottom. I don't know, I think on the next one I might not do that. Anyway, that's it for the moment. I am going to answer the phone because that's what that is. Don't forget to go out and have a great day and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. I'll see you later.